Hello, this is Tony of Tony's uh, Music. I'm going to show you how to do lip sync with um, uh, moving um, people around, like uh, walking or something like that, or any other uh, kind of um, movement. You can try and do this with it. So, I've just started a new video called Lip Sync Vid, that's what I've called it. But there's nothing on it yet, as you can see. Right, so what I'm going to do is go to objects. I've already downloaded my green screens. On here, so I'll put them on uh, Doodly and Terminal PNGs for anybody to use if they want to. Um, there's one specifically for Terminal and another one specifically for Doodly because the Doodly needs it smaller. Right, so this one's perfect for Terminal, so that's okay. I'm just going to change the bounce to instant on the actual item there, which is that green screen, and save that. Then I need to add a character which is going to be the one I call Sally right now I need to check that she's the right way around because if I'm going to walk her from left to right it needs to be that way I believe so let's try with a walk and see which way is walking okay let's try that let's just try that first yeah it's walking that way that's fine I don't want the walk on it I'm going to change that in a minute and just change that to lip sync Right, so but we, at least we know we've got her the right way around. Right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that to about 15 seconds on there, and the green screen's going to be 15 seconds as well. So I'll put that up there. Right now, I need to do another green screen which I'm going to put in front of her and take most of her body off, maybe up to the, just under her chin, you know. So that way, you just have her head showing on this piece but you have to do this in order to do it what we want to do right so I'm going to do that pull that down obviously because that's too, way too big now so just pull it down a bit and then we'll get it a lot smaller we don't want it too big just that'll do that's fine anyway somewhere around there that there'll do Right, so that's that, and I need to put that full length as well. So you've got to make sure they're all the same, really. And we're going to have to take the bounce off for everything as well, or they're all instant. I don't want everything bouncing around. So we're going to take it off that one, put it instant, instant, because if it bounces on, it'll look weird. Right. Um, Oh, the character's got to be instant as well. I'm just going to come, come from that way and go off the other side so that won't matter too much. But at the moment, it matters to me. So just do it like that anyway. Just be on the same side, right? Make sure everything's on instant. That's fine. Yeah. All right, so now that's what we got. What we need to do now is add our voice over, which I've already added, which is called Sally. So. I'll look for that. There it is, Sally. It's only a short piece here. Hello, my name is Sally. I am going to walk along to the other side of the park. Yeah, that's pretty good. Put that onto the voice out of the part and stretch it along to about the middle. So it won't walk to the, I mean, it won't talk until there's halfway walking and then I'll stop talking and then carry on walking to the rest. But it'll be, I won't stop while it's talking, I'll just carry on talking. Right? But let's have a look see how that looks so far. Oh, I haven't, uh, what did it? Hang on, sorry. I forgot to um, add it to the lip sync. So you need to add that to the lip sync like that and then save. Now, preview. Right, so we've got a bit of time. Hello, my name is Sally. I am going to walk along to the other side of the park. Mm, I might have done that too, too late. I might need to do it a bit earlier than that speaking so what I'll do I'm just gonna go across this way a little bit to about two and a half seconds so she has time to come into the frame before she starts speaking and then she'll speak up to about halfway and then go to the other end that be that makes more sense to me okay so that'll be all right let's just check that's all right 
Hello, my name is Sally. I am going to walk along to the other side of the park. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. And then all the rest of it's just walking, so I don't need to worry about nothing else. I yeah, just need the time on to be the same as the other one we're going to do in a minute. Now let's just export that and save it first. Make sure you save it. If you save it, then you can export it and you've still got it on here as well. So to do it as 1080p, that's what I'll do anyway. Uh, you can do it as 720 if you're going to do it for Facebook or something else, but I'll, I'll prefer to do 1080 because that's the, the norm for most TVs now. Well, let's just wait for this. Um, it won't be very long. Then once I've done this, I'm going to do the one where she's actually walking. And I'm going to walk her along the park, obviously, because that's what it says on the actual voiceover. So if I walked her somewhere else, it would look it'd seem a bit strange when I say that. <laughs> so um, that's what we're going to do. Just give me a few minutes to do this. This isn't, isn't hard to do, it's just uh, time consuming a bit because you have to do two videos, put the two videos together and then put them on a, a third video to um, sync everything up and everything. So it's the syncing is the hard bit. You get a syncing feeling doing it. <laughs> sorry about the corny jokes, sorry. Okay, that's done. So I'll show that in folder because so now it's in the wrong folder. Oh, so I need to put that onto desktop. Oh, click it. Oh, I've lost my desktop now. There's the top. That's it. Right. Okay, so we've finished that. Continue. I'll just make sure I've saved it by doing it again. Right. Come out of it. Go back into downlay. Start a new video called Sally Walks. so you know it's the right one right so with Sally Walks what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the background of the park somewhere down here there's part one or part two I'll go for part one yeah that's better right now once I've done that I just need the character and she's there just put her on like that now what I need to do is stretch it over to 15 seconds which is the same as the other one right then I'm going to start with changing the bounce to instant on that okay and I'm going to do the same with the actual background of the park don't want that to bounce in right so now what I'm going to do is get the start movement off screen right and then I'm going to go to the back one and that's going to go off screen to the side and just make sure it's walking the right way in a minute by clicking on that so now we go back to the beginning you can do it that way right now let's just watch how it goes oh she's not walking I've just forgot to put the walking on now and it's on idle that's now good is it let's just do that change that to walking right now it'll be all right just go back to the beginning start again that's what we want walking a bit slow but don't worry it's just strolling along in the in the hot sun on the in the park and that's it nice and just perfect right now we've just got to save that and export that i mean you could put the music on this one if you wanted like you can know, have some like music Shall we do that? We'll put some music on. You know, might as well make it more a new dawn. Try that one. Should we put that on the music? Yeah. And then we do, we put that as low, about 10, maybe less. So 5, yeah. Okay. And that'll be fine. So, and then on the end of here, we just want to do fade out. So that's what we do, fade that out at the end. That's fine. Okay then, um, just export that as 1L80. And we'll change that to desktop, shall we? Yeah, desktop, that's it. Change it there. And then go. So I'm having to change it from the other position. I 
shouldn't take long. It might take a bit longer because I've just added the uh, music file as well. But it might take many minutes. Maybe a couple of minutes if we're lucky. Maybe. Yeah, about, about a couple of minutes, aren't we? Now, once we've done that, what we're going to do is got to get both the video files that I've just done and put them into a video editor. I use uh, Cyberlink's Power Director. Um, I find it really useful with all the different tools you can use to crop it and all sorts of different things you can do with it. Um, there are other ones like um, IBS Video Editor or uh, Nero and um, a few others like um, the DaVinci one which is quite good, which is free for the beginner level but you, you have to you have to buy the extras to get it, the really powerful stuff I think. Well, I don't don't quote me on that. I don't know for sure because I find it a bit complex. Whereas I like Cyberlink, it's quite easy to use for me. So I prefer that one to be honest. And their support is pretty good as well. So you know, I've always had uh, good uh, relations with the support, and no problems at all with them. They've been really good. So that's better for me. So. There you go, that's done. Right, so um, just continue and save that. Okay, save, select it, make sure it's double, du always, I always double check to make sure I've saved it because I might need to go back to that again if I find a problem with it. Right now we go to Cyberlink Power Director, add the two files from desktop to, yeah, right, so there's the one. And there's the other one over there, so I just need to uh, get me on for a second. And that's it. Then we're both going to go onto that program now, onto that app. Right, so I'm going to put the actual scene on top, and this one on the second row. It should be the same length anyway. Now, as you can see, the the green screen is covering everything so what you need to do is click on the green screen video right and then what we'll do is just scroll down till we see chroma key and you click on that then you click on this like a dropper and all you do is you put it close to there and that's it now you can see all the rest of the screen right so now what we need to do is move this off screen at the moment like that first position right and you see that's coming on right so go go back to the beginning sorry I've done something wrong there I think I mean go back to the beginning didn't mean to do that actually so cancel that sorry start again silly sod hang on I've done something wrong right so click on that right now what we need to do is do that again chroma key glam right now what we need to do is move this forward we'll get it on the screen not coming on yet right so there we need that one to go there on top. Right, we do that. Bam. Right, then we move a bit further over. Move that. Like that, and it's already put the key in. And we go there. Now roughly around the same distance across. And there we go again. Now we go a bit further over. Like that. Okay. Now the last one's going to be just off the screen, hopefully. Oops, now let's go there. I need her on need her on the screen just about. Where's it gone? Come on. 
there you are right I need to put that there okay and then after that it goes off the screen so I see right that should be fine hopefully we'll have a look see how that goes oh what's she doing there let's try and have a look at it Hello, my name is Sally. I am going to walk along to the other side of the park. I just need to adjust the first bit there because that's going to be weird on a mod. So we go back to the beginning. If you click on that again. Right now, the beginning needs to go that way. Right, so let's have a look at that again. Right now, let's try it again. Hello, my name is Sally. I am going to walk along to the other side of the park. That's pretty good. There we go. That's fine. So that's how you do that. Right, so um, it is, it's not hard really. It's just uh, having knowing what you've got to do. And you know you do a little the adjustments and things like that and then it works so that's how you do it anyway uh, you can do it with all sorts of different um, uh, animation parts that they're done do internally so um, it's as simple as that really so anyway I hope you enjoyed my video and uh, please subscribe to Tony's Music if you really like this video and Hopefully I can give you some more new tutorials which will help you out with different things in the future. Okay, thank you and have a good day. Bye.